Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, uh, e-commerce project. In this project, first of all, I am going to add a uh, identity uh, injection in the, or you can say identity middleware in a startup.cs file. So you can use services.add default identity and in which you can use add t user and the t user is the template user and I have a e-com user class and also add roles so add dot add roles and uh, role is defined by identity roles so you can add identity role and after that you can add add entity framework store with the data context file so we i have a data context that is the ecom context class ecom project is basically used for uh, secure purpose and uh, because uh, if uh, any securities uh, fall then you can say uh, nobody uh, we can purchase any items okay so must to use identity as well as um, very hard security in the ecom projects if you want to add and render your uh, single page or you you can say that uh, razor pages then must to add endpoints with the map razor pages methods in the use endpoints in the middleware and if you want to apply roles features then you can use uh, auth authentication as well as authorizations so use authentication and dot use authorization okay now the startup file after clear that you can use dot uh, program dot cs file replace with that code uh, uh, to call a db initializer class in which uh, in which this class I create a host and that host call a scope services create a scope okay and scope dot service provider provide the services in which we can get three things first one is context second one is user manager and third one is services okay you can say that a user manager class with the application user replaced with the ecom user okay and you know that a db initializer class okay so after that web host dot create default builder resolve this uh, namespace okay so uh, in this class we can call services and by using the scope we uh, get the service provider and after that in the context you can get services dot get required services with the ecom context because in the db initializer class we have three things that is first one is the context second one is a service provider and third one is user manager and in the context class you can got uh, services dot get service uh, get required services user manager and uh, services okay now the man method is clear by using the first of all the man method will call uh, by the clients and host dot run will call your server like that web host dot create default builder dot use startup dot startup file and in the startup file call uh, basic services like identities like authentication authorizations and middlewares pipelining etc so after that you can run your project and that program class will call db initializer class and initial uh, value uh, like the admin roles and the user role will inserted in the asp.net roles database table like that user and admin okay now the program.cs file is clear startup.cs file is clear now after that you can add some basic uh, html things like a login partial class have some uh, basic things like the signed in user informations like logout register link and if a user is signed in into the project then uh, display the username like that get username 
and also the logout buttons so add that login partial class in the layout.cshtml file so like that partial name equals to underscore login partial okay so now after that again you can run your project to see the outputs okay register and login link will display on your screen and now after that add a new controller so views models areas and controller tab will explain expand it and add a new controller mvc controller with views with entity framework core and the model class is what bookstore and the data context class is ecom context class and controller name will display bookstores and add it it will take some times Uh, during the scaffolding some important packages will installed into your project like uh, Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server and uh, that is currently installing um, during the scaffolding and you know that scaffolding is basically used for your basic purpose projects and you know that the bookstore is basically uh, add some item add some store names okay and uh, it will take another uh, NuGet package that is installed installing that is Microsoft dot entity framework core dot tools that is the second package and the third one package is Microsoft dot visual studio dot web dot code generation dot design and that package will take few more seconds as compared to other packages okay uh, now the scaffolding is updating dependency information now building project and your controller class will display under your controllers folder that is the bookstores name and views also there generating codes yeah okay successfully created uh, bookstores controller now after that you can see your uh, bookstore is successfully created that is okay and in the context class you can see that bookstores is there now the next thing is to add authorize attribute uh, just before your controller name because the authorize attribute uh, is used for uh, authorize your controller without any admin information you cannot insert any values into the bookstore okay before uh, adding the role names you must to uh, must to uh, uh, 
correct that uh, errors like the namespace error microsoft.aspnetcore.authorizations and after that you got a mm, intelligence in the roles and the roles is the admin and after apply that authorized attribute on your uh, just before your controller name you can see uh, when you click on the um, bookstore link that is uh, added into your layout.css stimul file just uh, replace with the privacy uh, link bookstore action is the default uh, index and the controller name is the bookstore okay now save this and run your project Okay, when you click bookstore, then you got it, the login information. Thank you very much for watching.